What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture and today I'm going to show you how to make vintage analog sounding samples in Reason like Q-Beats, OZ, or what's the other one's name? Palace. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with a melody. I'm going to look for a sound to use within the Reason Sounds factory bank. Gonna go with a bell sound. Let's choose Sweet Mallet. Alright, that is the first half, and for the next part, we're gonna go like that. Alright, cool. So we got a nice pattern. Just gonna hit Command J after selecting both of them. Hit Command A. Then I am going to equalize the velocities, bring them up to 127, and we are golden. Gonna also equalize the lengths. Alrighty, I just can't get right today. Alright, cool. Nice. Then I'm going to bring down the velocities just a little bit. Let's switch sounds. See what else we can get. I think this might be the only sound I want to do. Let's go ahead and use this sound. So the first thing we want to do is navigate to the sequencer. I'm going to hit the sequencer button here. It'll pull it up. I'm going to right click on this MIDI clip. Bounce in place. Following that, I will double click inside of the file, the audio file that was created after we bounced. Just going to look over our audio file, see if my slices are in the right place. I'm going to go ahead and change this so that it is more even. But before I do that, I'm going to make these velocity points back up to 127 so I get more pronounced um, values. And I'm going to make them more plucky as well. So undoing a little bit of what I did. And then I'm going to bounce these again. Gonna get rid of the first track I created, not the one I just created, the first one. Okay, well, that is very unfortunate and annoying. Delete tracking device. <laughs> All right, and now we get a uh, better uh, slice marks and reason for our points. And I would just go through and delete anything that doesn't make sense. So you can, while you have your mouse tool, you can hold down Command, um, Control on the Windows. <laughs> And double check your slices just to make sure they're in places you want them to be in so I'm gonna get rid of this slice just click on it press delete I only want this slice here gonna delete this one and delete this one keep that uh, delete this one delete that delete that delete that Sometimes tedious, but it's an easy process. So once you have all your slices figured out, you're just going to right click and you're going to bounce them to a Rex loop. Okay, so now I'm going to drag this loop over into the rack. So this is what our sample sounds like. And the Rex, the same as before, just on the face of Dr. Octo Rex. We can drop the transposition. We can raise the transposition. And this will work if you have more than one loop. So the trigger next to loops, you can change bar, beat, 1 16th, and so on. I'll do a video on that in the future. So I'm going to drop this down. More cool things about the Rex is this awesome 
interface in the drop down so you can reverse anything you can pan specific slices any way you want to which is why it was important to go through and check our slices so if i just click on slice edit mode right here i can reverse all of my samples so if i click on reverse highlight them all and then add a little bit of attack in so we don't get popping we can come out and do them one by one here also with this on and off button reverse you can choose your slice you can change the pitch of individual slices you can change the panning so if I wanted to do some type of panning effects I could have it go from left to right whoops whatever you want to do basically but I'm just going to whoops hold down command and drag get rid of the panning and let's talk about the effects that give you that vintage sound so let's go ahead and filter out some of these highs just a little bit more add some resonance make it sound a bit more sinister And you notice when you add more attack, it gives it like a swelling sound. And that is great for bounce. The first effect I'm going to add is an audiomatic. A lot of you are very aware of this. I'm going to use the tape option. You can use vinyl, but I'm not too fond of the constant popping sound. Going to turn up the transform. So this is what it sounded like before. And this is after. Following that, I'm going to add a soft tube amp. And you could go crazy with this, so we can make this sound like a guitar. Obviously, that doesn't fit the mood of what I was talking about, vintage analog, so we're just going to go for something more subtle. Let's turn up the treble and the mids. Get some more gain in there. Power amp gain. Alright, cool. Now this last effect I'm going to add can be done in two different ways. This is the gem of the video. You can use the echo or you can alternatively use the Kong in which if you add it, you want to hold down shift. In this video, I will be using the echo. So if you want to know how to use the Kong drum designer as an effect, again, I'm holding down shift as I click on it. I will have a video up for that that I've already done up in the cards, so check that out. So in Kong, it looks like this tape echo. But in this case, we are only going to be using the echo itself. What we want to do, if your patches weren't initialized, you're just going to right click and hit reset device. Same with the amp, but I've already drawn in settings there, so I'm going to leave that gonna bring the time all the way down in the delay section and then over here I'm going to bring the feedback down and let's change the wobble this is the number one effect we want to change the wobble so this is what it sounds like without the wobble this is with the wobble we can add diffusion, give it some color, tube, we can filter out some more, let's go ahead and switch this to a high pass. Got a nice resonant frequency right there. Cool. 
Next steps could be add a screen, add synchronous for some more bounce. So we can go ahead and run through that. Let's add a screen. Scream, scream, scream. Scream for distortion unit. Gonna put it on tape because I love tape, but you can use anything you want to experiment with. Turn on cut. Alright, I like how that sounds. Just tweaked it a little bit so it wasn't as harsh. Now let's go ahead and add a synchronous. Synchronous effect modulator. Gonna go with about one fourth and let's change it to one half and see what we get. Let's dial in some information on the volume. And you can hear how it gives us some more bounce. We can make that a bit faster. Add in some reverb. Alright, now in the context of our beat. We can even add in some vinyl after. I would do it as a sin so that we can turn it down. If I wanted to start from scratch, I would just simply clear this insert effect. I'm going to delete this. And let's right click inside of scene 3 because that's the, the, the next one I have open. 1 and 2 are taken. It will open this up on the side. We're going to click Audio Retro Transformer. I'm then going to combine this, add some devices in the chain. I'm going to go with the synchronous and I'm going to go with an EQ. So everything in this combinator will affect the audiomatic signal. Going to put it on vinyl and let's get this on our track, our Rex track, which is called Vinyl vi Vibes. Okay, it's over here. This light green one. Gonna turn this on, name it vinyl. Change this to tape. Utilize these cuts here. Keep the low end, maybe add some mids. Very little crackle, it'll blend in with the drum samples we have. Gonna add a high shelf and just get rid of some more. And there we go, uh, it's already named so we're good there. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, cook up. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you would like to see next. All the things I already said, hit that bell so that you get notifications when my beat, my beats drop, my videos drop because otherwise you won't really know about them. Let's get it.